All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna cover how to increase the CTR of your website on Google search organically. So the average CTR means click-through rate, which means the percentage of people who actually click on your website in the Google search results. And you can do some things to actually increase this, which is gonna help get more people on your website. Now, the first thing that you need to be aware of is that organic CTR is very much dependent on the position that you're actually showing up in the Google search results. So the website on position one is gonna and gets dramatically more clicks than any website below it and it just gets worse and worse the further down you go so the biggest impacting factor is typically going to be the actual position of your search result in the search however there are things you can do to actually impact it so if you go to google search console hopefully you've set this up if you're doing seo if not go and watch my video on google search console above i highly recommend you set it up and you track these things because you can go into the search console like i've done here see your average ctr for your website and then from there you can actually Actually optimize it so that's the first step is you want to find out where you currently sit now what you can do is go to pages and then you'll actually see the average CTR for the pages and you can set the specific timeline so let's say we want to do only the last three months we can set the specific timeline here and see what the average CTR was now from here you could go in and see what you can do to to fix this so let's say for instance we got average position so I'll take a look at what the average position is so this one is you can see this one's on page two on average and its CTR is way lower lower than the ones on page one now this one is on page one but it's way lower so this one might be one you want to look at where you would open it and take a look at what you can do to improve it so what you can do go and open it and take a look and then also go on google and compare this to the other results that show so let's say we go to google and we'll type in rotor wheels review and see what the other search results are and so basically what you would want to do is see what you can do to improve it so you can definitely improve the ctr by improving things like your headlines etc now obviously mine is showing at the top of page two so therefore that's going to impact it however if we take a look here we could see what we could do about this so for example you could add something like the date now obviously i have the date in mind but that's something that you could add if you didn't already and that could help make your site more relevant you know to the current and get people clicking on it you can also see here people are using strong words like hate is it worth the risk? Are they that bad, et cetera? So you could use some kind of clickbaity titles to try and get more people to actually click on yours. Another trick as well is to use things that stand out. So you can see here, most of these are letters, but if you include something like square brackets and then the date, for example, as you're scrolling down the page, what you would see is that would stand out to the eye and you could try and get people's attention that way. Another thing as well is you could try and get an image indexed into your search result. You could try and add schema to try and get like various extra bits in your search result as well, things like that. Now, another thing to consider if you wanna go all around it is maybe you should look at making a video also to show up in the video results. That's a slightly more advanced strategy, but that's something you could do. That's not gonna help your CTR, but for SEO as a whole, you know, you could get a second place in the search results. So that might be something to consider. So those are a few things you can look at when it comes to trying to increase the CTR. So basically the two main things you'll be doing is headline and description. So what you wanna do initially when you're doing SEO is just focus your headline on simply getting it to rank. Get the right keywords in the headline or the meta title. Make sure that it actually ranks. Get it to page one. Once it's on page one, then you can start playing around with it and trying to use, you know, more clickbait and more incentives and things to try and get people to actually click it. And the second thing is the description. So the description is for a long time now not actually been a ranking factor. So you can basically use the description to just try and get people to click on your website. Now, obviously you want to put something good in there. Don't just put whatever random thing to get them to click and then it's got nothing to do with your page but you can definitely use it to get people you know incentivize them to actually click it and then like I said from there you can add things like schema for instance you could try and get reviews or something like that or try and get another video or an image indexed etc and all these things will help make your results stand out and then get more clicks as well and now obviously the whole foundation of this should be coming from the perspective of giving people what they were actually looking for so ultimately the best thing that's going to increase your CTR is giving them exactly what they were looking for and also grabbing their attention. So obviously you want to make sure that your page is actually giving people what they are searching for in the search results. So what you can do then is keep an eye on where yours is now. So let's say for instance, you can select the last 28 days for your particular page and you could narrow this down by keyword. If you want to monitor the exact keyword, you could filter by query, filter by 
page and then you can monitor the exact page for the exact keyword pay attention to where it is for the last 28 days you got the average ctr make your change monitor it for the next 28 days see what happens and then you can do that process to try and increase the ctr of all your pages or for the particular keywords that you're going after and then you're going to have a much better ctr you're going to get more people on your website and as a result you're probably going to make more money so that's it for increasing your ctr that's basically what you need to do it's just all in the meta titles and meta descriptions and obviously getting it to rank higher as well so you want to keep that in mind if you have any questions about any of this put them in the comments below and i will answer them otherwise if you'd like me to coach you on how to do your seo and google ads for only 49 dollars a month go to learndominatemarketing.com and if you'd like us to do the seo and google ads for your business and get you results go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there catch you in the next one.